This is a review of the Home Easy Grooming Kit, which is basically this, the head shaver. And it is a shaver for your head or your face, if you like that kind of thing. But I don't, I mainly use it for the top of my head, my hair. And it was $29.99 on Amazon at the start of the year. I'll put a link in the description and I'm using Amazon UK. It has gone up and down in price, so you may find it a little bit cheaper than that. It might be more expensive. I think it's about 37 pounds now. And what it is, is a shaver for your head, as I've just said. Uh, there is a very similar named brand that's available, but that's about, I don't know, 150 pounds, 200 pounds, something like that. And I couldn't afford to spend that on something that I wasn't sure that was gonna do a brilliant job. I usually use a safety razor to shave my head, but the problem with that is that when you have a head that is bumpy and lumpy and has moles and divots and things like that in it, you can accidentally shave these things and cut them and then you end up with a head dripping in blood and it hurts and it's not very nice and you don't get an even shave. And also the problem is that you can't see the back of your head very easily without an arrangement of mirrors. So after several years of shaving my head with a safety razor with varying results, I decided to look for an alternative and that's where I found this fella. So what do you get? Well, you get the shaver itself, which is battery operated internally, and you get a head, which is interchangeable. You can buy replacement ones of these for about 10 pounds. Again, that might go up. I'll put another link in the description and it just simply fits on there and with the press of a button, start shaving. You also get obviously a charging cable and a brush to clean it. And a couple of little uh, extra bits, if you can see there, a couple of extra bits to do the grooming, but I've never really used those because uh, I was only interested in shaving the top of my head. The benefit of using an electric shaver such as this over using a safety razor, well, hopefully it would be that it gives you a convenient way of shaving your head without having to use a safety razor and uh, the inherent problems of using a safety razor, like I said, might be nicks and cuts and stuff like that and it should be quicker and maybe it's more economical because I tend to go through one razor per head shave and I like to keep my head closely shaved you know all the time so doing that with a regular safety razor and shaving my face you know you'll go through a bunch of safety razors every week so this seemed like the good alternative the benefit of using this alongside a safety razor is that this will get down the uh, I don't know, the, the length of the hair. Now this is about a week's worth of growth. So you'll see in a minute how well it coats with that. The benefit of doing that then is that it gets it down. If you like a really close shave, you can then use your safety razor and get it right down to the skin. This doesn't shave right down to the skin. It's a very, very close uh, shave, but it isn't quite the same as using a safety razor. Okay, so let's have a look and see how well it does. As you can see, there is some shaving that has occurred. I will now commence shaving again. Okay kids, another important safety tip. Don't leave it a week before you try and shave your head again with this because a week's worth of growth is a bit too much for this to cope with. Now normally the shave is completely pain free and I'll be honest here, shaving this much is pulling a little bit but normally when I shave every two or three days at least, there is no pulling, it's very easy and it comes through well. The problem with this of course is there is a lot more hair going into the uh, blade part of this and you have to clean it out more. So I'll carry on and I'll show you another shaving where my hair was less long. Okay. 
but it is actually shaving through it. It's just taking a lot more time because there's a lot more hair to shave off. Anyway, I shall continue and excuse me if I wince. Okay, I'm just going to show you the use of the shaver on facial hair. Now, I don't use it on a facial hair because I find it a lot easier to shave my face than I do the rest of my head. My head is is not in easy line of sight when I'm looking at a mirror. Okay, now I'm just going to use it on my face. I have a little bit of the chin beard here uh, that I've grown out just so that you can see how well it copes with that and I tend to use a safety razor on my face just because I find it easier and I get a much closer shave. It seems to shave a lot closer on the top of your head than it does on the face. I don't know why, that's, maybe that's my skin, maybe that's the way I do it. You might find it really easy, you might find it much more convenient, and if you don't like a super close shave on your face, then it will probably do a great job. But anyway, let's, let's have a look. So there we are, you can see this monstrosity. One thing I don't like about shaving uh, my hair at all is that I might be a great big sensitive baby, but when I shave on my head or on my face, it tends to hurt with a safety razor. And that was the big concern with the electric razor. Would it pull my hair and would it really hurt? The good news is that generally, as long as your hair isn't too long, then it doesn't hurt and it doesn't pull. It just whips it off and pretty much you wouldn't know about it there's no irritation afterwards which is another good thing it's always good to moisturize afterwards but as far as i'm aware as far as i've experienced it doesn't irritate my skin it doesn't hurt uh the top of my head doesn't hurt of course there are lots of little hair particles most of which are captured in here but you will find some getting everywhere so if you've shaved your head or your beard you'll probably want to wash it off anyway and you'll feel nice and clean and, and lovely The other good thing about the way a razor like this is designed is that unlike a safety razor with a blade, uh, when you shave over, say, a mole or a bump, and I've got one here, I have to be really careful that I don't, I don't cut that. And if I cut it, I bleed, it's horrible and it's painful, and then you can't quite shave it properly. So the other option is to not shave it at all, and then you're left with a patch on your head or your face, which isn't shaved. Whereas this, I can just turn it on, Shave around it, it doesn't hurt, and it's done its job, it shaved it off. So that is a plus side for me. It actually feels uh, less painful and safer. Now, of course, your experience may differ. Don't blame me. Always try these things carefully and test them out and see how it affects you. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. So I went off and finished it in the bathroom myself. Uh, without the aid of a camera, I used what you should use, which is a mirror makes the whole process a lot easier. Anyway, so you can see a rather hasty shave under the pressure of being filmed by myself. Um, yeah, I think it's done a reasonably good job. Certainly uh, a good job considering that normally I would not leave it this long. I left about a week and a half actually before I even attempted to shave it again. And normally I would do this every day or every other day. So the hair is much shorter, it's much easier for it to cut through it. Uh, it takes me like five minutes, if that, to just buzz over all my hair. Uh, funnily enough, you can see I don't have much on the top. And it's it's easy, you know, it's it's dead simple. It's it's home easy, that's how easy it is. Sponsorship, no, nah, no, nah, kidding. It is easy, it is pain-free. The shaver itself, or the parts of it move, I don't know if you can see that, they, they, they do move uh, a little bit. Uh, but the way I do it, I tend to like just use one part of the, the shaver itself rather than the whole thing all over my head. Sometimes, you know, I put more pressure on one part. 
it flexes somewhat so I guess yes it is doing what it's supposed to do it does move around a little uh, and it does mold with the shape of your head so to clean it you just open it up each of these little parts and a bit in the middle twists off if you can see that you take the included brush other brushes are available and you take the brush and you brush away the excess hair that you have chopped off and then you close it all up and you're ready to go you may find in the books you get that it gives you various cleaning instructions it does say about running out underwater in my one uh, I don't normally do that it seems to do it perfectly well if I just uh, brush it out you may want to uh, clean it every once in a while by by washing it that might be something you want to do for hygiene reasons you can of course buy extra shaving heads which I did here again like I said this is about 9.99 when I bought it might be more now I'll put a link in the description and I found that after about two months it started to get a little bit dull the battery life of this unit it seems to be well on an average day when you're not trying to shave your entire head with a week's worth of growth about three or four good shaves and then it starts getting slow and the motors are slow and they don't perform as well so you don't want that you want the most to be their spinny best so you can charge it up every every day if you like with the included charge cable you do not get a plug you could get a usb adapter and put it into that and then this end goes into the shaver somewhere here like that so in conclusion would i recommend it yes i would because it is very good for what it's uh, intended to do it's cheap even if it's gone up to about 40 pounds i still think that's worth it it's uh, perhaps not in the range of that other famous brand which i'm not going to name and i really don't know if they're much better or if they're the same uh, the quality might be exactly the same it might do exactly the same job but all i can tell you is the home easy lk 2800 that's what it says on there this one does a very good job for a cheap price so yes if you're looking for one i recommend it but it is only a recommendation it is not the law if you do not like it that's not my fault you can send it back to the manufacturer don't blame me uh, but if you want something like this i say it's a good buy definitely see you next time